Suegros. Vegas strong, son. And we're live. This is your boy Tony Vegas out here in wonderful Las Vegas with my boy Danny Sun on the second pod Pedals Up podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dude, number two, that number two. We cause we're the shit, son. <laughs> number two, cause we're the <laughs> shit, son. We oh, did it. Man. We continued it. We got to two. <laughs> Yo, son, this just <laughs> bam like this. It just happened. <laughs> and shout out right now to everybody. We are live. Uh, right now we got 30 people on right now. So what's up, Rudy? You. What's thank up, you. Rudy? What's up, Kelly? Yeah, Hi, Kelly. Hey, Rudy. See, we're live. We got everything going on. So I mean, we can we can read what yeah, we see can. The comments. So yep, we yep. see some so of the comments up? on there. So yeah, what's up, Kelly? Rudy? Uh, we you know what I mean? We here. Uh, so again, we are live. So I do want to give a shout out. A few shout outs. Shout uh, out. So I want to give a shout out. First off, I want to start off giving a shout out to Jeff and Chris Evans. Uh, they're oh, yeah. always out here repping. Uh, for uh, them, Team BMX. Team uh, BMX. Putting in that work. Las uh, Vegas. Yep, yep. BMX Jeff, guys. Yep. Uh, speaking of BMX, BMX. Oh, look at that. I'm over here messing up. But look, I came back like turbo from uh, Damn, breaking. Damn, full fucking. Um, yeah. <laughs> Son, fucking. Bo- boogaloo fucking. shrimp over here. <laughs> uh, but uh, I want to give a shout out to also to Bet Sane, son. Oh. Always uh, one wheel up Mr. with the huaraches. With the fucking huaraches. And the helmet. Hey, with that's one thing, man. The gold helmet. Uh, with the flake, uh, that's one thing uh, we do promote, man. Safety, uh, if you're riding your bike, helmet is very important. Me, myself, I did twice last year. I fell down. I gave myself a concussion. So sh- shout out to him, man. Always repping team safety with that yellow helmet out there. Hey, you know what I mean? So hey, I want to give a shout out. Next time, don't fall, eh? And, hey, hey, son. It's a very simple concept. Uh, you seen these legs? You I ride the bike. Calves? You know why I ride my bike? So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared I of falling. Push. <laughs> my machine, son. Uh, so I also want to give a shout out. What's up to Nicholas uh, Strilling out here? What's up? Uh, at Cycle Squad Steve uh, with that SP 101, son. Oh, uh, I also want to give a shout out to the Chapaderos, the LV Chapel. Oh, man, that's family shit. right there, man. That's family. We, we, we missed. We, we, I'm sorry. We're new to this and we drew a blank last week. This week, we, we're making it up. We're making it up big for the Chapaderos right now. Happy 18 year anniversary to the Chapaderos that's right a, that's there. That's a good look right that's there, That's a good man. look. Chapaderos, 18 years, guy. That's, that's, that's we'll, 18 years strong, man. We'll, that's we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And that's crazy, man, because to go 18 years with a club, because you know ups and downs and how to get people. Uh, and, I mean, as many people as they have, they set a good example, man. I mean, these dudes are all cool, man. They're always repping uh, the club, right? I deep. Mean, and then they got the, the OBC. They're, they're, they're always deep at the OBC. Yeah. So yeah. don't forget OBC next this yeah, year. Man, still September countdown. 9th. Oh, speaking of September 9th, uh, OBC, it will be September 9th through the tw- uh, through the 14th, I believe. Yes. September 9th is Vegas. my birthday. 46 years old, baby. 46. Damn. Yep. I give my age. I don't care. I give my Damn, age. Damn, we're going to be doing the Tootsie Roll. Yep. <laughs> The butterfly, <laughs> the, butterfly oh, oh. the cabbage patch and shit. Damn, son. Damn, son. So what else we got going on? Uh, Sins and Sprockets? Yep. So uh, Sins and Sprockets got a ride, uh, 524 uh, Chinatown. Uh, so check them out. Um, we also have... Uh, oh, just the mountain bike. The, we, just, we just got that in today, actually. And, you know, this is all about bike stuff. So we're going ex- to gonna, we're gonna share. So today was a, a mountain bike. We got a, a newspaper clipping about a month uh, about mountain bike trails out here in Las Vegas. They're just opening up uh, this Saturday. So it's uh, the Floyd. What is it called? The Floyd Land Park. Bike Floyd Trail. Land Park. Yep. Grand Floyd. opening. Uh, so May twenty third, eight thirty a.m. Check them out. Uh, that's the flyer there. So if you're in, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, if you're on that side of town uh, and you got if a mountain bike and you, you want got to a mountain bike, son. I don't yeah. got a mountain bike. I'm yeah. scared. No, but this ain't this ain't this ain't Red Bull, you know. Me dropping off cliffs. You know one day, I mean? one day I'll, I'll grow up and get a mountain bike. <laughs> Until then, I'll stick to my cruisers. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. But there it is. There's the flyer right there. And then, um, and then a uh, Friday night, uh, Friday Redlands, night. California. Yo. we got um, Rico, Mr. Art Rico, and the Southeast chapter. Look, look at him. Look, look, at, him. look at him. Look at him. Look back. He's like look looking back. at us. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, like, there I can hear you talking about So right now, so, so Friday night in Redlands, they're going to have a ride out there. And it's, it's the city of Redlands. I, uh, Rico took me on a, on a ride out there with the BMXs. 
man, Redlands is beautiful out there. I had a great time this weekend out in California. It was, it was just, it was an epic time out there. Um, but the Redlands ride is going to be sick. So if you guys want to, to, to go on a nice, beautiful trees and shade and everything like that, and you want to ride a BMX or a stretch cruiser or a mountain bike or a road bike or a tripod bike, whatever you call those things. Tripod yeah. bike. Those three wheeler things. Yeah, you can, whatever bike you want to ride. Trike. Well, trike, tripod. I call it that <laughs> tripod bike. What a guy. So uh, just check it out. I hung out with Rico and and the, and the Southeast Chapter Bracada at the at the um, what do you call it the, the schoolyard in Warren Wan show. Yeah. It was it was dope. I mean, we have like a whole bunch of stuff going on over there. That you know, I got to stay over there at uh, Bracada. Uh, the Rico's house, it, they're always good hospitality with, with us from Exclusive. Um, we, saw, we saw David Puckett just drive by the president right there. You know, the teachers like, boom, just roll by him, you know. But um, we, had a, we had a great time out there, man. It was a lot of bikes showed up. A lot of bikes showed up. Oh, I took, I, 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 my bike took uh, top five. So wow, just want to show so that out. Which bike? Which bike the, Zephyr, the Zephyr. The Zephyr. Took all five. Chinese? All Chinese. It's my my bike is so Chinese. So, so Chinese. Hey, what do you use to shine your bike? Um, I use that. Uh, what do you call it? The uh, Dura. You know what? I ain't gonna say because I ain't gonna get paid for it right Ooh. now. So I'm just gonna keep it quiet. But I use some good ass polishing. Just oh. letting you know. If you want me to say the name, you have to pay me. Just oh, saying. Is, Just that, is that some of that uh, five star detailing? That's secrets? a five. That's some five star detailing secrets. You know, it's some some of my boys got that. That, hey, that, that, that dude puts in that work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So so yeah. So I took five, top five. It was a it was a great nice. event. Everybody had a a great time. The ride was fantastic at Oceanside. Pff, it was it was yeah it was yeah. And so it was it was so much fun out there, man. I could. Nice. It was good to see a lot of people after this. I mean, during this whole pandemic, people were some people wore masks, some people weren't wearing masks. I'm going to be kind of in between, but I wasn't trying to stay next to too many people, you know. It, 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 it's, it's weird, man, but it kind of is what it is, man. But if it makes you feel safe to wear uh, uh, gloves, I, mask, I don't knock it. Then, hey, man, that do you. Do you right now. And uh, if, I don't if, knock you, it. if you oh, feel that, you don't have that's, to. That's Marlene. Marlene's the one that made me my mask. Shout out nice. to Marlene Camarena for making Damn, me my mask that. and donating it. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was just a, a great show. Everybody yeah. was respectful. The, the bikes were sick. All bikes were sick. Jesse was out there with his with his uh, with his basurita, and um, I'm just saying that I beat him for a second. Wow. But then he got a bigger trophy. He got one from Canada, wow. from Gary Winston. So it was it was it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, I was sorry. It was cool. Brad Brad from Brad Marlin took the show though. Brad yeah, Marlin took yeah. He brought his uh, I, I forgot what the name of that bike is, but it's an epic bike. He he took over the show. Nice. And he won. So Vegas Vegas took two trophies home. Nice. Vegas took two trophies home. <laughs> so, what else? We what else we got going on? Oh, so, oh, we got more questions here. Gary Winston's on there. Oh, uh, obviously Adam is on here. Obviously uh, Adam's out here. Um, oh, the coconut dude was great. The coconut dude, he was selling five dollar coconuts. We were, I was on the mic. They gave me on the mic. I was like, oh, five dollar coconuts, five dollar coconuts, five dollar t-shirts, five dollar t-shirts, five dollar masks, five dollar masks. I was just going on, but. Everyone, a lot of people out it there, was man. a lot of freaking people. Oh, that that's that's yeah, it was it was just so big. Nice 1904 was out there, you uh, know. Adrian with 1904, always oh, great, always oh, great people out there. So, <laughs> great people. So, yeah, what else we got going on? So, that so the Ralphie's bicycle shop out here in town, yeah, that's so that's the one that we that's got every, every, every Saturday, every Saturday, morning every Saturday, downtown. Every Saturday uh, morning, they always have. They always have uh, bike bike rides out here. If we can if we can have that flyer up there, it'd be it'd be great. Um, so Rafi's bike shop is coming out here. I mean, it's, it has a ride every single Saturday out here at ten o'clock in the morning. So if you guys want to come out to to uh, Vegas, uh, just to come out and just know that there's always going to be a ride. There's always going to be a ride a Saturday morning in Las Vegas. And it's always a great time with them. We go out to we go out and, and ride the whole uh, uh, downtown. Downtown is always great. Um, if you guys haven't seen downtown right now because of, of this whole quarantine, wow, it is amazing because you get a lot of cool shots. Um, you don't you can't grasp the idea of that Las Vegas is empty. But you know what? The bikes are taking over. Straight up, man. And I still For get a request to like, hey, you got any bikes? You got any bikes? And right now. It's pretty much kind of, 
it's it's hard to come up on stuff, man. Like uh, shout out again, man. Shout out to everybody that's yes. been coming out, riding. I mean, it's it's been a it's been a beautiful thing, but again, uh, you know, fortunate uh, circumstance or whatever. But just to see everybody out there, all these bikes getting rented, everything, and like I said, man, everybody coming out, um, and you know, a lot of familiar faces. Uh, yeah. So you know what I mean. It, it's it's so definitely a good time, man. So yeah. So those are all the people that ridden on 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 Ralphie's bike ride on on Saturdays and stuff, and you can see his bike. So as now that we can talk about the man and the lady, the myths. The Ralphie's Bicycle Shop. They're here, here in the studio. Hello, Mr. Ralph. Feet. Hello, Tony and Danny. And hello, oh. Miss Terry. How are you? I'm fine. You're very Hi. fine. <laughs> and there is it, right? Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm super <laughs> nervous sometimes. I'm telling you right now, it's it is what it is. You know. So tell us, Ralphie, what's going on? What's 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 popping over there at Ralphie's Bicycle Shop? Hey, first, we want to thank Tony and Danny for putting on the podcast and having Ralphie's Bike Shop as your first ever guest. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Well, every Saturday we do a ride about um, eight miles through downtown and uh, the art district. We have uh, 20, 30, 40 people every weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting bigger every week. Um, we have a lot of new riders, new people don't know nothing about bike life. So you got so so new riders are encouraged. So it's yeah, it's really cool, man, and family friendly. Mm -hmm. um, it's 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 awesome. So uh, what's the what's the address at your place? Eleven ten Bonneville, East Bonneville. And what time do you Las guys? Vegas. And what time do you guys usually take off? We take off by ten thirty. By ten thirty. So meet up at ten o'clock. Obviously, we don't leave at ten o'clock. Nobody yeah. does. So we leave by ten thirty. Ten thirty. Be there. This this square. This man is is this, these two are great because they got a bicycle shop. And they literally live right next door. <laughs> like, they got, like, their own security. That's them. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> don't mess around with my <laughs> Ralphie's Bicycle Shop because he knows that you're messing around with the shop. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we, we got the apartment last October. The day we got the apartment, we saw a building next door, called the number, met our new landlord for the shop. And uh, we took our time re redoing the shop, make it look nice. Um, so what, are you, what are you guys going to be selling there? We'll have cruisers, parts, accessories. Um, is this all going? Is this all going to be new stuff? Or it'll be new. new. It'll all, be new. All new stuff. It'll be new. We might have a junk drawer somewhere for some random parts, but we're not going to be used bike shop. Okay. So we'll have. We'll start out small, of course. It's, it's just me and Terry doing all the work. So. So, so Miss. So Miss Terry. Yes. How are you, Miss Terry? I'm awesome. She is always wearing pink. <laughs> this lady, I have, I have yet to see her not wear pink. Something <laughs> pink is always around her. Yes. So her bike is pink. I mean, her, if, you, if you guys haven't seen her bike, her she's got a pink dyno that's like completely sick. Mm -hmm. So I, how long you've had that bike? It was two years at OBC in April this year. Well, it would have been two years at OBC. So in April, I got it two years ago. My first one, my pink one. Like what's the actual pink color, like the name of that pink? I can't tell you that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, that's right. Hey, Secret. Respect. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> respect. You don't give colors. I don't want anybody getting it. That's, no, that's no nice. Way. Okay. You don't, yeah, you, yeah. Don't, you don't give. Hey, right, right answer. Right, right answer. answer. It's <laughs> pink. She passed the test. It's pink. We're just checking. That's all you yeah. need to know. It's he pink. He taught me well. Yes. Hey, that's Hey, hey. You don't talk. You don't talk about the color. It is what it is. Yes. It's pink. It's pink. Mm -hmm. What kind of pink? It's pink. Terry's pink. <laughs> it's Terry's pink. Boom! There Boom. it is. Terry's, Terry's pink. pink. Right here. Yes. You heard it right here. And um, you know what? I, these two have these two ride so much on these dinos. Like mm -hmm. they put in miles. They like if I have to say, if if anybody asks me who in Las Vegas rides the most, it's gonna be in uh, the first glance. I just is gonna be these two because they ride everywhere. Today I saw them in a car. I was shocked. <laughs> hey, for real. I, mean, I was, I was like, like, gonna ride all the way over I was like, here? what kind of car did they drive? And then I just saw Ralphie. I was like, oh shit, he drives. Yeah. He got the, wow. Okay. Yeah. He actually drive, guy. Okay? We quit posting the the cat eye miles on the on the bikes last year. Mm -hmm. I think we were driving people crazy with the miles we put on there every day. Nah, man, you got we, you got we, we you were gotta putting, encourage them. We were putting 30, 40 miles just going to downtown from where we used to live. Oh yeah, the north north. But, you guys lived in Northtown yeah, before. Yeah, but now we live downtown, and the miles haven't changed. Yeah. So <laughs> we're riding like, you know, we ride whenever we can. So so, so we ride. They ride. No, yeah, they, they I, I always us. get hit up. Hey, I seen people riding. I'm like, what bikes? And they're like, uh, the green and the pink. The green and the pink. That's their signature. The low green and the pink. That's the long it. ones. 
that's it and you guys those those bikes are are sick how long you been riding oh i bought that bike in 96 i have the, you right Brad, i'm you. the original owner of my bike 96. Oh. so you've had the same green bike since 1996 well, it, was, it was black it was burgundy and it's been green for quite a while now but i've ridden that bike from miami south beach to washington dc uh, every wow. I mean, everywhere we're riding we ride a lot and then uh and still the original it, rim. Pete, can you show it, it, that green bike? Original rims, same rims, yeah, original. So um, I rode by myself for many years until I met everybody four years ago on a ride here in Vegas. And then I came back for OBC with like half the Riverside crew now. Um, Rico, Puckets. Um, oh, the Puckets are great. Shout Mr. out Puckets. Mr. Riverside. Puckett. You know, those guys, I rode with those guys in Riverside before moving here. But um, R Riverside was a cool place to ride also. It's, it's a beautiful place to ride. But at one time, my brother and I, we rode like, back in 2000 when he got his first dyno coaster. Uh, we were riding back east. We put on a ride. Well, we started to ride at the tattoo shop with like four riders. It was us, me, Mikey, and the tattoo artist and another guy. And then uh, over time, man, over a couple of weeks, we had a crew of 30 back there riding around pictures in the paper people were like amazed by these bicycles yeah, yeah. 2000 like these guys are riding these crazy bikes and then uh it kind of died off for a while and i rode but kept riding for almost 20 years you rode bmx too uh, yeah, I raced raced BMX, yeah i raced bmx also yeah so, you see this man so so this man's got bike in his blood he rides bikes he rides a lot of bikes from and how, how'd time. you end up with like that that stretch like that that I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that that's a badass bike. It does stand out. I mean, it's Oh, man, you guys should have the pictures of it from the very beginning. Oh, man, I, try, black, to, I the, try to find it. The black and white. I, I when it was black and white, I had about over 30 mirrors in that bike, like a Vespa. I think I have that picture. I think uh, I, uh, I uh, did put that and picture. I, I and, I, and I, I freaking love it. it. I freaking I love it. I did see it. I did there it bring is, that right picture. Yeah. It went through. Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah, I did bring that's it. In front it of, that's in front of the White House in 2000. Oh, oh my that, son. That was the That was its teenage years. This fool's got how many mirrors? Well, that about 30. I had, and all I can see out of one of them. Only one I can see out of them, I can see myself. That's it. Guy, you look like you got a wrist mirror, a forearm yeah. mirror, an elbow mirror. <laughs> yeah, all kinds that, of mirrors right there, guy. That picture right there is taken the weekend before 9-11. We had a big ride down in Washington, D.C. Mike, wow. Mikey and I put on. It's probably about 30 people all day uh, riding the streets of D.C., and it was pretty awesome. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's freaking. That, that, was, that, was, that was many tattoos ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you don't have any <laughs> tattoos on there. Oh. Yeah, you should see the tattoos on this man right now. Yeah, this <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> I do. <laughs> She's like, I do. Oh my gosh. She's like, I do. Do you have any tattoos? <laughs> no, no. No tattoos. Uh, this, no, this, this is a family I, friendly show. Yeah. He's got yeah. enough <laughs> tattoos for both of them right now. I'm 58 and I've never had any. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's original. Too and late, she's writing. Too late I mean, to have any. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. And she's writing. What's your, what's your young people she's excuse? You guys don't want to do hey, anything. Remember, remember that time that we were going with the Sahara? We're going up that steady uphill. Oh there my gosh! On the that 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 hill was a nightmare going up it, <gasps> and but going down it, I didn't, look. I didn't bring the picture. I, I should have. I should have remembered it. But there was a pic. There is a video and a picture. I'll post it on on the underneath the comments. But she is literally smashing down Sahara uh, Sahara Boulevard, just on going a, on, a stretch. on her pink stretch. And she's just bombing. She's in front of everybody. I'm just behind her recording. I didn't want to pass her. I just kept recording her. But she's like this, like, <laughs> oh. <That's> so <laughs> And then we had to come back. That yeah. sucked. Coming back sucked. <laughs> Coming it up did. the hill sucked. That's just crazy, letting you man. know. So what would you do this weekend? Uh, so I, I, I mean, I went to Cali, I, but I went on some different stuff. I can't talk about it. FBI, you know, everybody's watching. <laughs> got a few people watching. You know what I mean? Speaking of watching, we got forty people live right now, man. Woo! Shout out, forty to people. Yes. Oh, shout out, much love, Jojo, Jojo out there in Riverside. Uh, who else? Who else is there? Kelly, hi, Kelly. Yeah, man. What's up, Saucy? Saucy? I can never say his name, but I just call him Uncle. <laughs> yeah, that's he's the him. other. That's, yeah. the, that's the always writing. That guy, that guy's that always answer. writing. Now uh, he, he I, I do want to give some shout outs to um, this one. I got to throw with the W. Wing Wiggles worst son. You got to see Wiggles, like that. Wiggles. That's that's the man right there. That guy has a tall bike and he's only like like three feet tall and he's riding like up in the sky. 
I was helping him selling t-shirts. He's like, oh, five dollar t-shirt. Oh, no problem, guy. Five dollar, five dollar t-shirts. Seen his butt cheeks and some pictures. And stuff. Guy, that guy's. He's naked everywhere on freaking online. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Terrible, uh, terrible. I also want to give a shout out to Kuya Huck with uh, with that lens, man. Always capturing the moments. You yes. Know, super dope. Mr. Hawk. Yeah. Mr. Hawk always has some good some good pictures of everyone, and uh, they're just sick. So check them out. We'll, we'll put a we'll put a uh, his Instagram and his Facebook stuff on on the comments so you guys can check out his his. Um, pictures and stuff like that yeah i also want to give a shout out to bayou southeast barcada oh he had a birthday VP. he had a, the vp he had a birthday like uh, last uh, week i think it was or something like that uh, he's old now <laughs> probably not as old as me but he's old now <laughs> <laughs> uh, i also want to give a shout out to raul davila representing for the calaveras bc uh thank you thank you uh for all the love man thank you for uh you know what i mean uh scott russo for north cow bruiser cruisers at local boy brew craft uh want to give a shout out you know what i mean uh we also want to give a shout out to los cyclist bcs from yuma az man yuma always a a z period always az is deep az you know deep like e even the, the the guys that were here before us az coming all tough in that mustang it, Son, yeah, pull it, up all tough. A az az is tough az they got a lot of heavy hitters out there you got you got frank frank uh what's it what's, what's his last name? frank flores that guy's bikes are so sick. Yeah, from well. Psychopaths, he's sick. Aaron, Aaron from uh, Odd Fellas, sick bikes out there. Rob, you got Robert Martinez that makes some badass seats. And and, and uh, over there, Idaho son, rigid. Oh, rigid, Jake. Yeah, bugs Jake. not drugs. Son. <laughs> hey, that dude gets down, man. That dude gets down, son. You that dude does get down. Yeah, but yeah, man. Shout out and I go and, uh, and again, man. Thank you, everybody watching. We are live. Yeah. And we do have guests in here. So, so what made you really kind of decide to really take that step to open up a bike shop? Because myself, man, I flip bikes and everybody's always asking me, why don't you start up a bike shop? Why don't you? And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there with the same kind of like, well, why don't I? And you actually took that step because that, that, that first step is hard, it's man. It's so hard. And then yeah. as you start finding out, like you have to pull permits, you have to, there's, a, there's rules you kind of have to follow because you have to be and you want to be legit, right? So I'm sure that's, a lot of that is new to you, I'm sure, but uh how's it been so far uh with that process of just kind of opening up your shop man well we were i was very scared to open the shop i didn't know what to do where to start there's lots of help in the city to help you open a business so we went there twice three times before we even started anything before i even paid any money for anything but i did everything in one day once i started i just decided that was the day we went and did everything one day got all, all the all the licensing done tax everything's done then we had to schedule a fire inspection. That was, I was scared to death. I don't know what that is. So when the fire department came, I was so scared. I was like, okay, take a minute. He was in there for, I think, 30 seconds. <laughs> did, the, did the inspection, I'm good to go, I'm ready to open. Now all we gotta do now is get supplies and, and build it with a coronavirus kind of kind of burned us. Kind of burned, yeah, kind of burned. So we had a plan to start open, fully open in May. Well, that's gonna push back, so it's gonna be this summer. The summer is, you know, in the June, in July, that's going to be the day I open the doors and we have stuff in there for sale. We'll have a grand opening, official grand opening, a few months later with um, a, a bike ride, a bike show, um, I, a, a, a DJ, food. I think I think with every with the, what's going on right now, I think everyone's on a, on a clear understanding on what that it's, it's going to take a little time before you open up because of this whole coronavirus but you're doing it right because you you went in you did all your paperwork you you're already there you're you're already starting a buzz you're, you're doing the rides everyone's enjoying the rides i mean i everyone that i've brought to the rides have been have had a, a great time and they're they're going on their own yeah so that's that's a plus if if i can invite somebody to come to the ride and they they go on their own yeah. the next time and i'm not there that's a good that's a good sign we're trying to we're, we're trying to train everybody that you know we do rides every saturday every saturday 10 o'clock every single saturday so you don't need to call somebody to ask what's going on in las vegas you come here anyways on vacation bring your bike bring your bike put it in your room put it in your car whatever come over to our shop ride at 10 o'clock we're done by 1 1 30 usually we do more rides after that we go again later in the night after that ride but the official ride is from 10 30-ish to 1, 1 o'clock. You have a ride to go to, meet new people here in Vegas, 
and have a reason to bring your bike to Vegas, get some cool pictures. Downtown, the art district is safe. There's bike lanes. It's you know family friendly. It's it's a good ride. Yeah, he he stops he stops at uh he stops at, at certain spots to eat. So he has stops to eat and he has stops to get water and bathroom breaks and all that kind of stuff. So he's got ev- they they both got everything covered on this ride and everyone helps out as much as they can. I mean we we all try to help out as much as we can t- for all the local um, bicycle shops. And, and in just town. for anybody going to these rides, no matter what city you're in. I mean, if you bring a friend, if you bring your people, like, watch your people, man. Watch your friends. I mean, sometimes, I mean, you know, yeah, there is no rules, but so, but there is. You know, when we're out there riding, it is safety. We all kind of have to look out for each other. So uh, sometimes some people, hey, like to party, you know. That's yeah. cool. That's fine. But uh, we got to keep it kind of under control. So just keep your people in check, you know what I mean? This way yeah. it kind of avoids a lot of situations. But, I mean, not that there has been. But sometimes now with a lot of these new riders, with everything that's going on, some of them get excited, you know, that first time. Because, I mean, we all remember our first time hitting the street. You get excited. You want to do a bunny hop, a wheelie, whatever it is. Yeah. And you've had maybe a few couple of drinks and, uh, you know, shit get, starts to get a little the too fun. Gets, it gets too fun. <laughs> and it happens. It happens. And uh, But, again, man, just, you know, it's one thing. Like, it's just a courtesy. You know what I mean? The d bad son don't be a dick don't be a you dick know, yeah, that's rude that's biker bike that, that's rule a universal number one rule for that is everyone, that is everywhere. a universal rule for for all bike life for all bike life we always say don't be a dick yeah. just letting you guys know it's, yeah. it's very simple so just that's why it's good to s- it's good to see uh something like uh rides like this that are more family oriented well too we're we're family it's a family friendly ride meaning that you bring your kids it's safe for the kids to ride it isn't that we drink milk and eat cookies yeah no, no, you know what i mean so like family friendly is we safety, all take care of each other safety yes. for the yeah. family but we yep. go and liquor store and you get beer soda cookies yes. whatever you want yeah yeah, yeah we go here and get beer soda whatever so like it's also I'm not, we're, we don't want to make it it's like you know g-rated ride yeah it's not it's a but that's why I, I say I, we take care of you take care of your people yeah, you know what i mean that yeah. way there's no issues everybody parties to different levels yes. yeah and that's just facts you know some people can't drink yeah you know just because like hey man why is this person hey they can handle it yeah you well, know, some people can't some but that's the thing is like hey that's not your problem whoever they came with that's how we got to yeah. handle it yeah so far we have zero problems yeah, exactly. with anything so far so and that's the thing sometimes with some of these riders man you see the tattoos you see the it's intimidating you don't know them like we were talking about this like myself a lot of these rides i'm very quiet man so i look like i'm mad or i'm mad dogging or he's I'm, always like mad. you can't approach me and in my head i'm all goofy thinking like the dumbest shit he's always but i just have that bad face because that's how i grew up you know what i mean you have to have that face uh but doesn't mean I'm a uh, just because I'm a bad guy doesn't mean I'm a bad guy, son. Uh, I don't know, son. <laughs> Always mad because his hair is not done right. No, nah, it's done right right now. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what? So what else? What, what else, Terry? What, what else you 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 like about this whole bike life? You know, it's fun. I have so much fun. I love my bike, and I'm so glad that Ralph got me into it. But it's just fun. The people are awesome. We met we, we met a lot oh of cool people. Oh my gosh, yes. OBC was awesome. And, you know, we met people from Detroit. And, you know, we want to go and ride other places and, you know, have fun. And, I mean, I would ride every day if we could. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we just about do. But I mean, the, the, it's the people in Detroit, like, when they come out here, they come deep. Yeah, yeah man. Those guys come out deep. Loud, too. Loud. The music. Yeah. HSR uh, uh, um, hot spot rollers, those guys are deep. Uh, yeah. Shout out, shout out to my boy Flash. The music that you heard in there earlier, that's from Flash. His, his information will be on uh, on there on the screen, so you can check it out. So all bike, he's like the the bike Tupac, per se. Just saying, <laughs> he just he's got he's got all the bike music covered. There it is, right there. Check it out. The tune in on on, on his YouTube. He's got uh, he's right now on his third album called Life Behind Bars Three. Right now, that one's the Life Behind, Life Behind Bars 2. Great, great album. I, I bang it every day. Yeah, man, that's actually pretty good. We're listening to it right now. And, uh, there was a few uh, beats I was catching the vibe yeah. to. So, so the intro, so, so the intro, there you go. Oh. Son. Hey, hey. Yeah, oh. you're trying to battle, son. You don't want to battle. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, that's the man Flash right there. Check it out right there from the Hot Spot Rollers out there from Detroit. But yeah, they they do come out deep, and I've met so many cool people riding these bikes. Like, yeah, like I have too. Everyone mm-hmm. has been 
freaking great. Like, I can go to a city without my bike, and there's a bike over there waiting. Like, yeah. it's like, hey, man, just come. Don't even need to bring your bike. Everyone is freaking cool. So yeah. I, I, I came the same way. I'm like, you know, I, got, I have my house, and then I have, like, a spare bedroom, like, when I have, you know, company come down, and, you know, I, I make sure I try to take care of people I when remember they come down. when we used to go, when I used to go before Ralph moved out here, and we used to go on bike rides with Mike and Juan and all them, and I, I remember you being there, and I think you had pretty much gotten into it yeah. right around then, too. So it, 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 it's been, it's been a, a, a great time. Yeah, riding, riding awesome. these bikes. There's some beautiful bikes out there. Hey, I wanted to give. We brought gifts. You um, brought gifts? Yes, we have Ralphie. Oh, they got some stickers. Oh. They got some stickers. Oh. Some stickers. Some stickers. <laughs> some stickers. Yeah, so beautiful. Right. You guys get three each. Oh yes. yes. So use them wisely. They're going yes. on my car. They're going, they on, will. My They're car. going on my truck right now. Here, yep. check it out. Check it out. Look at there. It is. Look at that right there. So, will you have these? Will you have these at the ride? Um, we yes. will. We're working up? Okay, they're <laughs> yes. working on it. So, so yeah, we, got the first we, one. we got the first three. We yeah. got the yeah. first six right here. Yep, that's, yes. how that's what we got right here. Yeah, so so check it out, guys. So Ralphie's Bicycle Shop out in, out in, you know what? I don't even have to close it. You're going to have to do it yourself <laughs> right now, Ralphie. You got the big shirt with the big name, the, big, the, the nice black hat with the green letters on there. You go ahead. Go ahead. Sell your thing. Sell All your right, thing. everybody, come on out any weekend you want from California, Arizona, Canada, Chicago, wherever you want, where you come from, come out to R Ralphie's Bike Shop ride in downtown Las Vegas, one 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 zero Bonneville, in downtown Las Vegas. Ten o'clock, we meet up. It's a great time. We leave it by ten thirty. We try to leave by ten thirty. Uh, we ride through downtown, eight mile ride, very <laughs> easy, and um, it's 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 fun ride, man. It's, it is. We keep fun. it safe and fun and meet new people. But when you come out to Vegas, always bring your bike. Come to ride our ride on Saturday morning, 10 o'clock. You don't need to ask anybody. It's always going to be going on on Saturdays, yes. so 10 a.m. So if someone did want to get a hold of you guys, what's the best way? Where are you most active? The best way is Instagram, Ralphie's Bike Shop on Instagram. It's on the flyer. It's on so the go flyer. All that information. That's, that's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, and then the future will be pretty good once the bike shop opens. And then look forward to a few months later. A grand opening which is going to be it's going to be pretty big. awesome we're going to have a you know, bike show um music you know the dj food and it'll be uh, a bike show for from like noon to four and then from four o'clock on we'll go for a bike rides downtown we're going to be here exclusive is going to be there we're, <laughs> we're nice. going to help out we're going we're gonna to be and there i mean we'll keep you guys posted as uh more you know what i mean uh comes up or more uh with, with the shop uh you know it is all family here, so that's what this is about. You know, it is all about us. So, like I said before, or like I, we've been saying, if you have some kind of ride, if you have anything going on in your city, your country, wherever you're at, like, don't assume that everybody is friends on Facebook and Instagram because there's a lot of people that aren't. I don't know. And they're always asking me, and I'm like, man, how you how you not know about it? Or how you, because, you know, like, the, you know, we post a lot, so we do get a lot of people we are coming up with a lot of uh, people that are hitting us up so we do want to try to connect everybody so that's why uh we do this so if like we said if you have anything coming up uh whatever it is it, it, bike related you know we send us that info yeah. uh we will show love and if you want shout outs we'll show love well, sh shout out i mean yeah. I, we'll, you know we'll, we'll yell out some names oh we, kevin and michelle kevin and michelle from uh syndicate They've been wanting to come out here for the, like the last three weeks. Nice. They keep calling me and then they, they call me. It's like I'm not going to be here, so they're like, "Oh, okay." But they they kept come they kept Saturday. talking. Come they Saturday, kept talking yeah. about you guys' ride. Yeah, but the on. thing is, but the thing is, is that there's no hotels right now, so it's like it, they're like kind of like waiting to see. But now, I got a new house. Oh, thanks, thank you. I got a new house. Hey. Me and my girlfriend Nancy, we got a new house, so hey. we're moving in. We're moving in tomorrow. So if anybody want to help out, just contact me. I mean, I only need you for a few hours. That'd be great. I'll give you a shout out. There I even, it is. Take, That's where the I even take pictures of you and say, hey, this guy helped me move. Thank you very much. I'm just. And he's going to make you sandwiches. Movers, and I'll make you a sandwich. I'll give you sandwiches. Sandwiches are beers. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> just giving you a heads up right now. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. But yeah, I mean, I got the the the, 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 sh the ride. The bicycle shop is 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 getting a buzz out in california because when i went out there people were coming to me and say yeah we want to go out because of, you guys have a ride out there all the time yeah that's the plan of the ride was to promote the bike shop before it happens so people kind of know what's going on yeah and then it's going to be it's going to be pretty amazing yeah. but we want to thank you guys for having us on here today and it was 
Pretty awesome. It was be the first guest on your it was podcast. Cool, man. You did it's it. Pretty you cool, did man. It. We, we gotta get fizz. We gotta get fizz. And, and I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. sweating all over myself. So I feel yeah. pretty good. <laughs> it's you know? not that bad. I was so not, scared. It's not. That, it's not bad. But not thank bad you very much, you guys. No, no thank problem. you guys for coming and thank everybody for watching. Uh, yes. Thanks so. for supporting us. And look, we have 41. Yes. We got 41. Yes. We got 41. We need a. We need one more to to comp- to beat last uh, last week's. Hey, you were at 42. But we're good. The numbers are getting up. If you're not watching it live, it's all right. We it's can all right. Still share it. We can still share it. So share check it out. We're gonna have a YouTube page up and running. So you're gonna have the the first the first podcast, the second podcast on the YouTube channel on the exclusive Bicycle Club um, YouTube channel. Uh, we also going to have uh, some more information on the bottom about what's go- you know, what we talked about and uh, some plugs and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in. So tune in next week. We'll have some more guests coming on. So if you ain't got a bike, get a bike. Stop being lazy in your life. Stop playing video games. You ain't going to do nothing. Okay? You're just going to sit there and play video games, kids. You know, just get up and ride. Do Son. something. Okay? So we out of here, guys. So it's your boy Tony Vegas from Exclusive Bicycle Club and your boy... Danny's son. son. Peace out. We out.